Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Wig Studio One. I'm Marlene from Marlene's Wig and Chat Studio, and today I'll be reviewing Whisper by Tony Bratton in the color light brown. I'd like to thank Wig Studio One for providing Whisper for me so I could review it for all of you. The link to Whisper will be listed down below for you in the description box. And if you have any questions about Whisper or any of the other styles that we show here at Wig Studio One, Please contact support at wigstudio1.com and a consultant will be happy to help you. If you are searching for a bob with bangs, budget friendly, I don't think you have to look any further. This is just the nicest, nicest little bob with no frills at all. We have a basic cap and I just thought it I let me start let me let me back up a little bit here when I first put it on I was like oh my gosh because the bangs were kind of sticking up but um once I put on some makeup and just combed it out a little bit all I've done right now is spritz some water that's all I did after I shook it I just spritz some water on it because I wanted to show you exactly what it looks like right out of the box as I mentioned the bangs are sticking up a little bit can you see that right there? So I took the hot tool. You could also, these are heat friendly fibers. So if you want to use a flat iron or you want to use a curling iron, you could do that as well. I just like to use the hot airbrush. I'm going to, I'm going to put on some music so you could see what I'm doing. Cause this thing is loud. That's all that, that needs to be done. Just really, really quickly, the hot tool is available at Wix Studio One. I will leave the link for you down below. All right, let's talk a little bit about this style. We have no, pill, no pillowy permatease whatsoever. However, this is a basic cap, so we do have some permatease. And I could feel it right here. You can probably, I'm going to zoom in the camera so you could see the little hairs right there. And I know some of you may not like that. However, because this is a budget friendly, because it is a light density, I mean, look at this. You could tuck it so easily. Let's see what we can do about those little return hairs that we have up there. We can take a headband and we could disguise it with a headband. Nobody looks at us that close. That's my opinion. This is my favorite type of headband. This is the one from John Renault. I will leave this link for you as well. I love this headband. I use it with so many of my, of my wigs. I even use it with my bio hair. Let me look in the mirror. All right. So you want to disguise those little fibers sticking up. You could leave some strands hanging down or not. It's up to you. Something really nice about Whisper is the bang. You see how it just comes a little bit lower right here. It's a little longer on the side. And that helps uh, cover that as well. But you see now with this headband, you really can't see those return hairs. And I think the style, I like it behind the ears. But doesn't that look pretty? And you don't see the return hairs and you have a really nice, easy style. I think it's too short for a ponytail. I don't know. That's just my thought. Let me show it to you on all sides after I comb it, after I've been messing with it. But I, I think that we can work with those little return hairs on top. I really do. I think it's worth it. I really like the fact that it, it has a long bang. It's four and a half inches. So I have it really pushed back because my forehead is only two and a half inches. I wanted to show you how long it is. Now, if I put it where it's supposed to go, you see how much longer? Of course, I can trim it, or you could just sweep it over to the side if that's what you want to do. You could also comb it in a way where it, it appears fuller, if you, if you prefer a fuller bang. I like more of a wispy bang, and that's just my personal taste. With a little bit of steam, also you can get those little return hairs. You can get those little fibers. You can get them to settle down, if you will. All right, let me show you Whisper on all sides. Look 
The fit on Whisper, I feel it's true average, probably going a little bit above a 22 inch. I really had to cinch it in to accommodate my 21 and a half inch circumference. And I, and I am wearing a wig grip. However, if you have a larger than a 23, Whisper by Tony Bratton is available in the large size. I, I believe they re, Tony Bratton refers to it as a plus. The color, light brown. There is no just, there is no color code for this color or for any color by Tony Bratton. So I'm just going to go with what I see. I do see a light brown. Probably if I was going to give it a number, it would probably be like an 8 or a 10. Uh, I don't, I can't, you know, it looks, it appears to have a bit of golden brown in it. it. It appears to be a neutral, a neutral brown to me. It doesn't appear to be totally warm and it doesn't appear as cool. I'm going to, very comfortable. There is the front of it. As you can see, there's no lace front. We do have felt covered ear tabs. We have an extended nape, and as you can see, I really had to cinch it in in order to get a proper fit, and I'm wearing a wig grip, and I could probably cinch it in some more. So if you have a 22, 22 and a quarter, I, probably even a, a 22 and a half, this will probably fit you, just the average, just saying. Again, but it also depends on what you have from ear to ear and your front to back. So just something to keep in mind. It is a weft cap. And as I mentioned, these are heat friendly fibers. So if you wanted to add, uh, you wanted to straighten it a little bit, or you wanted to add some curls, you can do that. The sides and the back on Whisper are eight and a half inches and the nape is six inches. It weigh's about if they li they're listing it in grams in a uh, for 122 grams when I did the conversion it's four ounces it doesn't feel like four ounces to me honestly it feels a lot lighter the front is listed as four and a half and since these bangs are so long on me I I'm gonna have to agree they are four and a half inches so if you have a wider forehead you shouldn't have any issues if you have a very narrow forehead as I do you could either push it back or you could just uh, trim it up. But I, I think that other than the, the little uh, fiber sticking up on the top, if you, it's an easy fix with, as I mentioned, with some steam or some water. And I think it'll be fine. Overall, I think it is a really pretty style. If you are looking for a budget friendly, you're looking for nice, smooth fibers, you're looking for minimal permities, and you're looking for a lighter density. I think that whisper just fits the bill. Thank you, everyone. At Wig Studio One, we appreciate you spending this time with us. We hope that everyone is having a fantastic day, and we will see you next time. Bye.